Don't touch my hair. When is the feeling? Hey guys, welcome back to Arena of the Mind. I am your host, Ariana. And today my special guest is Chelsea, owner of True Roots Hair Care Products. Thank you for joining me on the show. Of course, girl. Of course. Yeah. So now do you want to go ahead and tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Yes. Okay. So my name is Chelsea. I am 28 years old. Um, I have two children, London and Jordan, and I married my high school sweetheart. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> yeah. Everybody loves that story. Yes. Anybody doing that nowadays? You're right. You're right. <laughs> All right. Let's jump into your questions. Uh, tell us about True Roots and what prompted you to start a line of hair care products. Okay. Well, True Roots Hair Care is an all-natural, organic, handmade product line for hair and beard. Um, I pretty much just created it because I was tired of paying $30, $40 for a product that didn't work. (laughs) You know what I'm saying? And so, um, I just, I decided to create it and I had a boss a couple of years ago who pushed me into it. She saw potential in me and that's what really got me started, started. That's so So. good. Okay. So what was the first product that you created? The first product was my growth oil. Yeah. Yeah. That one's a, that one, (laughs) that one's a, that one's a star there. That's my bestseller. That one in the color. I was going to say, is that your favorite? It is. Um, it's everybody's favorite, apparently. Um, it smells really good. It really grows your hair, people. It really grows your it hair. It really does. It really works. Up under this, you know, I, I put some on, what is it, last night? Yeah. Girl. And I like, it's real light. Like, a lot of other people's yes. oils are really thick. They're heavy. Mm-hmm. And they're like... I mean, it's oil, so it's meant to be a little greasy. Mm-hmm. But yours, I can say, it's real light. It doesn't feel heavy, anything mm-hmm. like that. So I really like that. So without giving away any of your secrets, can you tell us about some of the ingredients you use? Okay, yeah. I mean, I use, like I said, all natural ingredients. Every, anything that I use in any of my products, you can find in your kitchen right now. Mm-hmm. Um, one of my main things is aloe vera. I use a lot of aloe vera, but that's mm-hmm. because, you know, it's a healing property. So I... If you have something, you know, going on like dandruff or anything like that, that's really bothering you, but and you can't get rid of it. You don't yeah. want to use the head to shoulders chemical <laughs> brand. Then you can yeah. use something like that and it'll help heal that. Okay. So, I mean, I use like a lot of stuff like that. Like I use things that will actually help you, your body, everything. It's not, nothing will go against you or your body. I mean, okay. everything is completely natural. You can use it on your skin, your hair, your face, anything. Okay, good. Because I was going to say, yeah, I, with the oil. Yes, I, I got crazy. people who use it on their skin. Yeah. I, I mean, they love it. I mean, really. And it's not one of those things that are like, oh, it's a growth oil. You really want to use it on your skin? You got hair growing? No, it's not like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's really a moisturizer. But when it get interacted with your hair follicles, then it's like, we're going to grow. Yeah. We're going to grow. But hair and <laughs> arms and legs like that, like that's not the, that's not the same thing. So. Gotcha. So if they are homemade. Then, yes, everything's homemade. In all the kitchen. Yourself. Yeah. Whew. All in the kitchen. Wow. <laughs> Test everything out on myself first, and then you know I tweak it from there. And then once people start, you know, I promote it. Once people start buying it, I also I'm always improving, always. So if you have any questions, concerns, or things that you might you think that might help me improve that mm-hmm. product, I, I'm welcoming all of that, and oh, I'm always awesome. tweaking my recipe. So. That's awesome because a lot of people are like, no, this is it. This no. is mine. No and that's their problem. <laughs> and that's their problem because yeah, they don't really listen to their customers. I was gonna say you definitely gotta listen. Yeah. Um, besides your own, are there any other products that you swear by? Mm, you know, <laughs> four years ago, no, five years ago when I did the big chop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there were. Shea Moisture was the brand. Mm-hmm. It was. And not to throw any shade, but let's be real. It's not all natural. It's not truly made for us. And it's not run by a black I was owner. Say it's not run by So person. for it to be a, a black ethnic hair care company, it's kind of interesting that it's ran by... Yeah. Not black ethnic people. So, you know, other than that, but I mean, the chemicals that they have in it, they, you know, to keep everything together, it's just like any other company, you know, curls. Um, I loved curls. I used to love curls. I loved mixed chicks, especially mm-hmm. for my daughter. Um, but it's just, our hair wasn't, it was stuck. Yeah. It, it never went anywhere. It dried out quicker. Uh, we, we had a different curl pattern. Like my curl pattern was completely different five years ago when I was using Shea Moisture really? than versus now. Hmm. And like you would, and I've had a customer who come to me and you can see that on my website as well. It's a review. She is like, Hey, I'll just let you know your products changed my curl pattern and not to say it was in a bad way, but it did change it. And I really love it, but it is different. So, I mean, it's, it's, it makes a difference what you use in your hair too. Yeah. Especially because it's all natural versus any of the big names. Cause that's Mm -hmm. how I was with um, Cantu. I know a lot Mm -hmm. of people swear by Cantu, but I was one of those when, I don't know, it's something about like when it's geared toward black people mm-hmm. but it's not made by black and people. a lot of people didn't know that though yeah. and that's the worst part about it y'all are hiding behind this facade that y'all are a black company yeah not, so and that's who it's even worse 
Yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. Right, leave it at that, girl. We don't want to talk about them no more. True roots. <laughs> so, what's your go-to natural hairstyle? Oh, I love twist outs. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And it, it's so funny because the first couple of years ago, I couldn't get a twist out of my head to That's save my life. life. Really? Yeah. <laughs> but it, I, for real, once you get into it, the two trans, two strand twist, that's my go-to. I love it. Like yeah. you put your curling butter in, girl, twist up your hair. Next morning, you got this giant afro of hair. I mean, it's just, yeah. I took braids out of, like yesterday, put in just some, some, a full head twist, you know, just to not have to wash my hair. Yeah. <laughs> and so now it looks like this. I mean, yeah, it's a little, it's not as curly as I wanted to be. But... No, but it's still cute. It's, it's still got the texture. Yeah, it's still fluffy. Everything. Shiny. Y'all see how shiny it is? Growth <laughs> oil did that. You know what I'm saying? So. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So let me ask you, what's a common um, myth about hair growth that you were taught? Mm, that everybody hair, everybody's hair grows the same. That's not true. Yeah. That's not true at all. Um, it, in a way, I guess it is because I mean... We're all human. We all have hair growing out of our head, but everybody's grows at a different speed, a different, I mean, everything. I mean, it's not, it's some people's hair, like you can have like half of your head growing out one curl yeah. and it'll grow as fast as hell. And you have this side growing out this one curl pattern and it's the slowest ever. Like I have, my hair is uneven because yeah. of that. Like half of my like, head grows longer than the other, I mean, faster <laughs> than the other. So it's, yeah. it's completely, that, I, that's a huge myth. Everybody's hair is not the same and everybody's hair does not grow the same. And there is no such thing as good hair. Okay. Oh, yeah. If you take care of your hair, your hair will take care of you. And I stand by that. Yes. Thank you for saying that. Because I know a lot of times with the 4C, and I'm a 4C, so you know that I like, I call it slave hair. Um, I do. I call it slave hair that nappy, you can't, like, you know, growing up, you can't do nothing with it kind no. of stuff. But I never felt like, oh, I don't have good hair. Mm -hmm. You know, I just know my hair is really thick. It, mm -hmm. It's going to take a longer time and stuff like that. But you know the stigma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. And that's why I said, like, I call it slave hair just to be funny because, you mm -hmm. know, other people. So it, for me, that's like me taking it back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel you on that. <laughs> so what tips can you give to those struggling with damaged hair or like hair loss? Um, damaged hair, one, um, I would definitely say to don't just chop off. I mean, you can. A lot of people do the big chop. But if you really are attached to your hair, don't just chop it off. You're going to be depressed. You're going to hate it. You're, I mean, yeah, it'll grow on you eventually, but those are a big, your hair is a huge part of you. And if you decide to do something drastic like that, you need to be prepared with what, with what comes with it. Oh, yeah. So damaged hair, I would suggest that people transition, mm -hmm. you know, start using natural products. And then as the months go by every, let's say three or four months, because like I said, the rate of hair growth is different, just depending on yours, get those ends trimmed until mm -hmm. all that dead hair, all that straight hair at the end is is gone. Don't just chop off your hair unless you're literally mentally prepared because it's yeah. a huge, huge step. And I'm going to tell you, I wasn't emotionally. mentally prepared. Right. It was huge. And my husband, I don't think he was mentally prepared for that either. Okay. Cause I was like bald almost. So, but I mean, yeah, for damaged hair, definitely that. And then for hair growth, just be patient. Mm -hmm. That's a huge thing um, that I learned throughout this business is that you have to be patient with the, your hair growth. I mean, like I said, everybody's hair grows differently. You can't look at this girl on Instagram and say, oh, man, well, it only took her a year. OK, well, it took me five yeah. to get like this. OK, so I don't I don't base that. Don't you know, don't base that on what other people, how their hair grows and everything like that. Gotcha. I know you said, um, especially with the transitioning, you know, you want to make sure you get your ends clipped. And I guess this kind of goes back to like that hair myth. Um, do you feel like you should get your hair trimmed often? Because I know a lot of people say like, oh, get your ends trimmed every like two to three months. It helps your hair grow. Do you think well, your hair is a living organism. I definitely think yeah. so. Because you got to think about all the dead ends that you have. If you continue to let them be dead ends, they don't just go away. I don't know if you know about split ends, but once they split, they continue to split oh, all yeah. of the hair. So it's if you don't cut them off, it doesn't grow. I mean, it can grow. It's not Everybody's hair yeah, is different, but it's, it's not going to grow like you want it to <laughs> yeah. grow. So... When I was doing it, I, I mean, as much as I didn't want to do it, I got my hair cut every, every couple months. Okay. Cool. The first two or three years. Now yeah. it's like once a year, once a year. Okay. Yeah, that was more so for me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. It just depends. So Definitely. do you have a daily routine um, to maintain the health of your hair? Mm, girl, I do. But it's really simple. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> A lot of people think that I do all this stuff to keep my hair up and I really don't. I just, I have three main ingredients, I mean, main products that I use out of my line. Um, I use my shampoo, shine shampoo. I use the growth oil and I use the curling butter. And okay. when I need to refresh a style, I use the coconut leave-in spray. So, mm -hmm. I mean, but like I said, if I'm using protective styling, which is most of the time, I don't, my hair's not out. It's usually in twists. Yeah. So I don't do much to it now just because of the length. 
Mm-hmm. But before, yeah, I had a full routine. I mean, I would get up every morning. <laughs> I would take my hair out. If I didn't like it, I had to brush out each little oh, str- yeah. um, section, recurl it, put the blow drying cap on, and then be done. Like, it was a whole thing. And, and that took a long, long time. And I think that's the one thing people don't understand when they, they're like, you know, you should wear your hair. You should wear your real hair, your natural hair. And I'm like, baby, are you getting up to do it? Right, because who... who <laughs> that's why I don't wash my hair that often y'all be tripping you, you gonna it's a lot night, of work cause you gotta do it at night and in the morning right you know? <laughs> cause when that bonnet come off it's even worse exactly. and you're like okay well, who gonna fix these edges too cause I'm not gonna do it and especially if you spend all night doing something for it to not you be off. mad bro you be so mad like, bro, I'm gonna go out in public today that's for real I'm just gonna stay home you wanna go to the store home? right <laughs> so let's talk about the men's line what inspired you um, to dedicate a line to them my husband. Yeah. Yeah, he's always he's he's not a complainer at all. He's a very quiet, keep to yourself person. He's real chill, real relaxed. But that was one of the things he was always irritated with. He mm-hmm. wanted to like, you know, his hair his, he always had a it's always been full, but it's just never been that growth that he wanted. He wants that big beard, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I just started something to help him get where he wants to be. And okay. it, you know, he uses it and everything like that and he's seen a lot of a lot of growth within the middle part so much you know more so than the yeah. this part right here but i mean he, you can tell you yeah sure it, it has to connect <laughs> and it has to be full so like he don't have any of those like small like empty patches anymore mm-hmm. like those that's all full that's you know good. you know everything connects he's good yeah he likes it and again the, the products smell good so he loves how they mm-hmm. keep them it's cedar wood for the men you know to keep them like calm but still yeah. manly because <laughs> you know they don't like to you know yeah. they like how they are about their, their manliness mm-hmm. and whatnot so <laughs> And I was actually, um, you kind of touched on my next question is what do you recommend for men looking to grow a fuller beard? True is hair care. Yeah. <laughs> True is beard care. Actually, yeah, definitely. Um, I would say it's just like women. I mean, you have to have a routine for your for your hair. I mean, hair is hair. Yeah. It doesn't change where it's at. It can be on your legs, on, under your arms, whatever the case may be. But you still have to have a routine. So you still got to get up every day and make sure you take care of your hair. It's yeah. just like that. Like I said, there is no good hair. You know, it's take care of your hair. Your hair take, takes care of you. So. Mm-hmm. You know, th- you have to have a routine, just like women. So what are some of the um, products that are, that are included in women's care? Okay, so we have three products and then a beard brush. And it's so cute, y'all. It's, it's got so the logo, cute. the beard logo <laughs> on it. Um, but yeah, we have the the conditioning beard oil. I've got the soothing beard wax. And then I have the um, cleansing beard shampoo. Let's talk about the wax. Yes. How does the wax work? It's pretty much the curling butter for men. So oh, okay. it, it gives them that shine. It um, gives them the moisture and helps moisture retention as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and they, they it gives them that softness too. I've had a lot of compliments about the softness. They're like, man, I've never had anything that just, it, it was instant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, it's huge. I mean, so with the wax I say I mean a lot, don't I? <laughs> can you use them together? Yeah, you can use everything. It's a whole, it's a whole bundle. Just like, um, so you get up in the morning, say your, your face looking a little scraggly, or you done had a long night, you've been drinking or something with your buddies. <laughs> you want to get up cleaned up before work, so you go in there, put some water on your face. Mm-hmm. You only need it's like it's a little spray bottle for the men's shampoo. So you just spray like two or three squirts on the face, and then you lather, it, and it's just like the shampoo for the hair care. Okay, so you only need like two squirts. You don't need a lot. You don't need a lot. Look, I'm like, yeah, you know, and I've had a lot of people. They'd be like, I swear too much. There's bubbles everywhere. I'm like, yeah, it's, don't you don't need a lot. It's very, it's concentrated because I use a natural soap. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like, you know, don't use a lot. I'm telling you, it's gonna be. Oh my god, just don't use a lot. I'm telling you, I've had an experience with that. Please don't use a lot. But yeah, they just squirt it on their face twice, lather it up, rinse it off, and then um, I always recommend using the beard oil first okay. because, like I said, the wax is gonna hold in that moisture mm-hmm. that you just put on with that beard oil but my husband he doesn't he doesn't like that for some reason he likes the oil last okay. but i would recommend the oil first and then do the beard wax and then just brush it in okay. brush it in you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> and then you're good to go i mean it's gonna be shiny you're gonna be like oh yeah. and then your girl gonna come up to you like hey babe, ooh, ooh, say, ooh. Stop ooh. Stop right okay. like where you going <laughs> <laughs> no we're about sitting now right you know, like, I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, so do you want to go ahead and tell the audience and the viewers where they can buy your products and how to contact you? Yes, definitely. Okay, so we have a website. Um, it is True Roots Haircare.com. So just our business name.com. It's, um, everything is on there. All the merch that we're selling, all the hair care, all the beard care. Um, we always have posted sales. So, you know, you don't have to be worried about that. If you don't have the money, like, you know, full price or whatever, you, we always got sales going on. You ain't got to worry. <laughs> True Roots Haircare.com. Instagram is True Roots HC. That's our business page. My nat- my um, regular page is OK Chels. Okay, cool. Find us anywhere. 
Thank you for joining me on the show today. Of I'm really course. Excited. Thank you. I love it. I'm so excited. I'm like, yes, let me get up in this thing. <laughs> I was going to say, you know, I've been waiting on this. Yes, one. I know. We've been talking about this for a minute, so we finally got together. Yes. I'm happy about that. Yes. 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 <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Oh, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye. Don't touch my